Hi folks, it's uh, Cam here from Reefball uh, with another episode relating to nano reef keeping. When I first started in the hobby and set up my first ever salt water marine tank, I used to hear quite a lot from other reef keepers and local fish stores that my tank is not really mature enough. Some of the fish stores at times even refused to sell delicate corals and anemones to me upon asking the age of my tank and saying like your tank is not mature yet. I used to get really annoyed about this and I, I was like, what do you mean? I have cured live rock in my tank. I have zero ammonia, zero nitrite in my water. I have good phosphate and nitrate management in place. So what else is needed to class my tank as a mature setup? Now almost five years on into the hobby and now I can sort of understand what they really meant at that time. Now, so I can sort of understand what mature fish tank is and how important it is to allow your tank some good time to reach full maturity before you place delicate, expensive stuff into it. So in theory, one part of early tank maturity is, of course, having a mature filtration setup that has a good colony of ammonia and nitrite consuming bacteria in it, which are able to process the organic waste of fishes. But that is just one very small part of it. However, the most important element, which is actually time dependent, is based on the rationale that a mature tank that has been set up for a long time has many different biological processes going on inside it, only a few of which we actually really know about. It is not just the nitrogen cycle actually, but other important processes as well which have not really been documented anywhere. Folks, we must remember there is no equivalent of the several months or years of that little ecosystem developing stage by stage within your tank doing its own thing with so many processes and nuances which we cannot possibly comprehend. I think if we try to understand this in a geeky way, uh, in a bigger scheme of things, the idea behind the tank maturity is that Everything in, in the universe is trying to attain that state of equilibrium over that period of time. And when we set up our new tanks, uh, there are certain changes of known and unknown biological processes and chemical reaction that causes a massive non-equilibrium state. And that non-equilibrium state is, is dangerous. And this is where our tank animals and invertebrates are most vulnerable to sudden demise of fatalities. Over the period of time though, there are counter processes and reactions in our tanks that sort of opposes those early negative actions in our tanks to achieve this state of equilibrium where there is an equal and opposite counter reaction to balance out the negative actions that took place early. But for our fish tanks to reach that mentioned stage of maturity, it takes time. It takes time and longer the age of the tank, the more balanced and stable your tank would be. I must stress that there is a big difference between a fully cycled tank and a fully mature tank with an established ecosystem. So folks, patience and temperament remains the key. We must aim for that established fully mature ecosystem within our tanks. When it establishes itself, your, your tank is sort of basically looking after itself, it's self-sustaining. It just requires minimal of your input at that time when it's self-sustaining and the ecosystem is basically looking after itself. And this is what maturity transpires into. So folks, what I've tried to do here is to cover a difficult subject here with my own thoughts and my experiences. I'm sure some of you will disagree with me and will have some sort of information with a counter argument, which is fine. It is most welcome that this is what we need in this hobby, people to share their experiences. Please feel free to get down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. So guys, take care uh, for now and, and remember, never give up on your hobby and your dreams. Take care. Have a good day.